It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Yes, it is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso Live on S3. Now, Health Tuesdays continues and we now zone in to some health news to do with blood. As South Africans, we don't know the vital role that we can play in saving someone's life simply by donating blood. It's something we need to take note of. The Western Cape is at the moment under such severe pressure as the province heads into the winter season. And that because of, you know, the, because of the pressure of, you know, the new winter season coming up, the Western Cape Blood Service is appealing to all eligible and potential donors to please donate blood urgently. It's so, so urgent. And joining us on the couch to tell us all about this and this need and the drive is Marike Gevers and Sister Kim Strutt from the Western Cape Blood Service. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, so good to have you mm -hmm. with us. I was telling Tabisha, I'm actually getting a reminder on my email yeah. every time to donate blood because I donated last year. But how are we getting the word out there that people need to donate, especially now during these winter times, mm. because to avoid that day zero? Mm. Yes, so you get your email, you'll get a phone call and SMS. Yeah. There's various ways that we communicate with our donors. Yes. Um, but at the moment, like you've mentioned, um, there is a critical shortage. Um, we do appreciate all the appeals and everybody coming forward to help us get through this difficult period. As we go into winter, that always adds a bit more pressure. And, and this is great to know. So please, everyone watching right now, Ask any questions, anything that you want to know about donating blood. And if you are a donor, what your experience has been like, try and encourage everyone else out there to go and do it. Please do send us those WhatsApp voice notes, 063-408-8863. That's the number. Uh, sister, the situation on the ground, you get to interact with donors and those coming in to inquire. What has the situation been like in your experience of those needing blood to save their lives and those who are donating and those who are considering donation? What's it looking like? Okay, so um, we are in a critical shortage. So we have put out appeals all over the show, which we have, how donors have responded to. Um, we've got very, very um, faithful, loyal donors that when we put out a call, they come and, they come and donate. Yes, good for you. <laughs> that's, that's me, I'm one of them, yes. But because we've been so hot behind in our stocks, we haven't got where, where we need to be. Also, the, the demand on blood has increased because, you know, we're now down to level one. So all normal surgeries and things like that are back to normal. So the demand is more. We're still battling to get to some of the venues that we, didn't, that we did do pre-COVID. Um, a lot of our corporates, we're not back at the corporates yeah. yet. So it's a constant battle to, um, to get blood. Yeah. However, we're out there every day. Um, us at headquarters here in um, Pinelands, we send 10 teams out every single day to various venues to collect wow. blood. Our staff are working extremely hard. We've got uh, COVID protocols in place, which we still have to adhere to. Um, so yeah, that's the situation on the ground. And you know, coupled with now winter and flus and mm. still more COVID round five or whatever we are in now, yeah. it's, yeah, it's, it's serious. Yeah, it is. Sounds How like. is that going to be affected by winter coming now? Does that change things uh, dramatically? It does. A couple of things. First of all, colds and flu. Okay. Obviously, you can't donate blood if you're not well on the day. And we there's a little bit of a recovery time that we allow you before you are eligible again to donate yeah. blood. Um, also, mid-year, schools and universities are on vacation, so a lot of people are away. So, again, it's, it's, it's the yearly thing that yeah. colds and flu, winter season, schools closed, it's a battle. When we hear uh, that stock supplies um, are at level one, Paint that picture for us. What does that mean? I mean, it, 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 anything level one is quite critical, but what exactly does it mean in the context of blood donations, blood supplies? So in the context of blood donation, we always aim to have a five-day blood stock supply in all blood groups. Okay. Um, and as you can imagine, if we are on a one-day supply, we're really not in a position where we want to be, and that's an absolute critical shortage. Yeah. Our donors, like you said, we, we communicate to our donors, and yeah. sometimes people don't understand when we say we have a three day or two day. So anything other than a five day is not what we want. Okay. So at the moment, um, like Kim has also mentioned, our stocks have, have been fluctuating. Last week we came out with an extreme critical appeal for people to please donate blood. Um, and due to the backlog of the actual collections and the demand rising and winter season, we, we are really not where we need to be yet. No. We're not out of the woods and we really need people to come out in drives and come and donate blood. So. And what it means for the patient as well is say your patient needs is needing an operation, is needing blood. Yeah. And the doctor's wanting maybe 
three units of blood on hold, mm -hmm. we will say we can't give you three units of blood, we can only give you one unit of blood. So there's a restri restriction on how much blood we can offer um, the patient's thing. So that obviously is, you know, it's not a good situation you want to be in because, so we, we've got restrictions on our on our blood supply that we supply to the, the hospitals because we, we can't, you know. Because you haven't got enough. Haven't got enough. The Western Cape Blood Service is appealing to every one of you. You can help save a life. And to find out more, we're going to speak to you and continue this conversation in just a bit. But right now, it's time for some entertainment here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It's my Feel Good Breakfast Show. Welcome back. That is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso live here up S3. Now this morning we're chatting to the people from the Western Cape Blood Service. Yes, who are encouraging all of us to do something remarkable and also to do, donate blood to save a life. Now the blood stocks are under severe pressure at the moment, so we are going to continue the conversation on how easy it is to help. Correct, and we welcome you to please do weigh in and share some of your experiences and questions. Uh, we've asked you to WhatsApp us your voice note 063-408-8863. In fact, we do have a voice note right now. This one is from Jocelyn. Jocelyn, let's hear what you had to say. Good morning, Espresso family and the people on the panel. i just like to know, I heard somebody say to me the other day that even if you are on medication, you can donate blood. Is that true or false? Thank you, Jocelyn, Albert Gardens. Bye. Thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, so yes, the, you can donate if you're on some medications. Okay. We, I mean, there are obviously hundreds of medications, so um, some medication you're not allowed to donate on. So the list is long and varied, so if you are on medication and you're not sure, it's always advisable either to phone in and tell us what medication you're on, okay. and then we can say whether it's yes or no. Okay. But most medications you can donate on. Some of them are, 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 can affect um, unborn babies, okay. so you know, if you're pregnant, so we would need to know what medication you're on, and then we can tell you. Okay. We have another voice note also mm -hmm. from Linza. Let's take a listen. Hi, good morning. Um, I just want to know with regards to blood donation, um, is there any reason why, where some, why some people can't donate blood? Um, I've heard, I don't know if it's a myth, I just want to confirm. Um, so if you have tattoos, are you allowed to donate blood? Thank you. Thank you, Linza. It's an important question, right? It and it speaks to is. donor eligibility. So, yes. what is the criteria? Okay, so anybody who's be a, between the ages of 16 and 75 are eligible to donate blood. If they lead a, a healthy lifestyle and a healthy sexual lifestyle, um, that they weigh more than 50 kilograms, and then every donor is assessed individually, you have to fill in a questionnaire when you go and donate blood, and that lists a whole lot of medical questions and lifestyle questions. And based on that, we can determine whether you are eligible to donate blood. But some people aren't. If you've, if you've had um, diseases like hepatitis or if you've got HIV, um, syphilis, some cancers, um, some autoimmune diseases. So there's, a, there's a, a long list and it's very difficult to sort of say up yeah. front best to go to a clinic, yes. fill in the questionnaire, and we can screen you then. Yeah. And if you're wanting to help, uh, and I'm glad that you're asking this question because it means that you are interested in helping but you don't quite know if you're eligible or not, mm. rather go in because the staff there are very helpful and they can take you through. The questionnaire will help really direct uh, your eligibility and I'm glad that you're considering it. Do it. I've got a tattoo and I have been donating, so Love that. go out. You, you just need to wait three months after a tattoo or a piercing. Correct. So it's not a long wait. Um, but yes, we didn't answer that question. Yeah. We did answer that. <laughs> in terms of where we're standing right now, how much blood is needed to ensure that we have sufficient blood supply, but also to ensure that we don't go to that day zero? So, like I've mentioned before, we always aim to have a five-day blood stock supply. Um, at the moment, we're on a one-day supply and, and the blood supply is fluctuating. Um, we always need to collect 700 units of blood every single day. Ah. So, that's quite a lot. Yep. Um, and obviously, when we do get to not the required level of a five-day, yeah. then we need to increase collections mm -hmm. to get to that five-day. So, unfortunately, we need to, we need to, to collect extra and, 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 and push to get to a five-day. Needle in arm. Guys, let's go into it. Mina from Joburg, your voice note. Let's hear it. Hi, my name is Mina from Johannesburg. I just wanted to ask, I've never donated blood before. I wish to do so. Just I want to know where can I do that? What is required of me? Should I eat before? All that. Thank you. 
preparation. Thank you very much, Mina. Uh, in Johannesburg, I'm sure they've got the, you know, many different sites, but you can answer that and wh what people need to know in terms of preparing uh, for going and donating blood. So have you uh, mentioned something very interesting, does she need to eat before she go donate? Absolutely, we require or ask that you eat something substantial or before three to four hours prior to donating. Yeah. Very important, increase your fluid intake before and after donation. Mm -hmm. And it's as easy as, yeah, pitching up at a blood donation clinic to find your closest blood donation clinic. Our website is the easiest. Mm -hmm. There's a Donate Blood Now button. You go on there, you can filter according to areas. You can see where we are on the day. We have five fixed sites operating within the Western Cape that's open daily on Monday to Fridays. Yes. And then the other five collection teams we send out to do pop-up blood donation clinics. Totally. And the, the uh, caller was from Johannesburg, right. so um, the South African National Blood Service serves the whole, the rest of the country, and they have a website, and I'm sure she, if she accesses that, she can find a, a donation centre close to her. S-A-N-B-S, so check NBS. them out. Yes. And wcbs.org.za for Westgate. For the Western <laughs> Ladies, ladies, thank you so much. I think it's so important that you came here today to just, again, encourage everyone out there to go and find your closest blood donation clinic. Again, that uh, that website is www wcbs.org.za for more information. It's a course, course worth supporting. Help avoid day zero.